the Zetra blade would be good for is if you're just getting into rollerblades, these are more than enough. These are super comfortable. These are more comfortable than the Fit90 Bowl by K2, which are $300. These are more comfortable than my K2 VO2s, which were $400. This is a review of the Zetra blade by Rollerblade. I bought these because buying new wheels for the Macroblade 80 is about the same price as buying a brand new pair of Zetra blades. So I thought I'd give them a shot. Considering their entry level, these are a very agile pair of rollerblades. I feel like I can turn on them just as fast as any of the other ones I own. I was surprised by the Zetra blade. Truthfully, I thought I'd be disappointed with the Zetra blade, but for 150 bucks, I figured what the heck. It's instead of buying a new pair of wheels, I just thought I'd give the Zetra blade a try. Pleasantly surprised. Super comfortable. I thought they'd be garbage to be honest but I believe these are another tool blades that I can use for honest training. Super pumped. From the distance I have put on the Zetra blade, I have to say they are surprisingly comfortable for an entry level roller blade. You could actually train in this thing. It isn't just a casual roller blade. It's made that well. At 150 bucks, the Zetra blade is the most economical model offered by roller blade. The Zetra blade isn't a hell of a lot different than the Macro Blade 80. The Zetra blade and the Macro Blade 80 both have the exact same wheels, same hardness, 82A. The design is similar. They both use the same bearings. But you'll see on the Zetra blade, the chassis is made of plastic. And on the Macro Blade 80, the chassis is made of aluminum. The boots on the Macro Blade 80 and the Zetra Blade are almost identical. Lace system, buckle system, Velcro, everything. There's a slight difference in the ankle support system. They're about the same weight, a little bit different in the heel cup. So basically, for another 50 bucks, all you're getting on the Macro Blade 80 is the aluminum chassis. You don't notice that big of a difference in the aluminum to the plastic chassis. If anything, I almost think the plastic chassis dampens vibration more. Being that the wheels are the same hardness, they really don't feel a heck of a lot different. Even with the slight difference in the heel cup and the ankle support, it feels almost the same. So for $50, I think all you're getting is the aluminum chassis. I think the Zetra Blade is a great value for the money for 150 bucks. These can be worn for training. Here's my old beat up pair of Macro Blade 80s. They have well over a thousand kilometers on them. You can see they are completely grimy, but I've never cleaned the bearings once on them and they still spin freely. Even with a thousand kilometers on them, the 82A wheels, they're a bit chewed up. These are now my shoulder season roller blades. I wear them when I don't want to screw up my new wheels while there's still all the debris and rocks and shit on the pathway to chew up your blades and fill your bearings full of dirt. So an old pair is a good shoulder season idea. I own multiple pairs of roller blades because I do train in them every single day. And in order to train in them every single day, you need to switch it up. You need to have different pairs so you don't get overtraining and overuse injuries. I would honestly take a pair of Zetra blades over any pair of K2s. Fit90 Boas, VO2s, you name it. This is this would be a go-to. Even for cross training, if you're buying a pair of roller blades for training and you want a blade every single day, the Zetra blade honestly would be good enough for one season. You'll get a season, a full season out of these roller blading every day or every other day, no problem. They are almost the same as the Macro Blade 80. I can speak to the durability of the Macro Blade 80 because I've used the Macro Blade 80 daily for 10 to 20 kilometer roller blades and they've never let me down once. I love them. So if you're looking for a super comfortable pair of roller blades for under $200. I think the Zetra blade is an awesome value for your money. If you wanna get a little more serious and you got a little bit more money to spend, the Macro Blade 80 is a slight upgrade, but not totally necessary. The Zetra blade certainly isn't the fastest roller blade I've ever owned, but for training, you don't need to go fast. As I've said in my other inline skate reviews, speed isn't always the best thing when you're training. The faster you're going, the more risk there is in bailing and getting an injury, and you wanna get out there and be training and blading every single day. For another comparison, these are my Macro Blade 90s. They were $300, so twice the price of the Zetra Blade. They are much heavier. They aren't much more comfortable than the Zetra Blade. In fact, I'd say the Zetra Blade is actually more comfortable than the Macro Blade 90s. So for the extra weight, for the 10 millimeters you get on the wheel, and they're 84A, so they're, they are a slightly harder wheel, but not worth it in my opinion. I think even for someone who trains with roller blades, you'd be better off buying two pair of Zetra Blade and just burning them out rather than getting one pair of Macro Blade 90s. For the casual skater at twice the price, you gotta ask yourself, is it worth it? So which blade is better for you, the Macro Blade 80 or the Zetra Blade? These are the two most similar ones, and I think for the extra 50 bucks, I would honestly go with the Zetra Blade. For the price, I think you're better off buying a new pair of Zetra Blades every year than you are putting new wheels on your Macro Blade 80s every year, because the boots do get packed out eventually. They do wear, and the nice thing about roller blades I've found is you don't even need to break them in. Zero break-in time. You can get in and go for a 20 kilometer, hour, hour and a half skate, day one. 
which is super impressive, even in the Zetra blades. So there you have it. If you're buying your first pair of roller blades, Zetra blade, awesome deal. Thumbs up. One last thing, there's another Zetra blade review by another guy on YouTube, and he's telling you to take off the brake. Don't do that. Don't do that unless you are doing tricks. If you're rollerblading for training, keep the brake on, save your wheels. If you take the brake off, you have to use your wheels to slow you down and you don't wanna wear your wheels down stopping when you can just easily use a $10 rubber brake instead of your wheels. If you're doing tricks and stuff, take off the brake by all means. But if you're doing tricks, you probably aren't buying a pair of Zetra blades. I think Zetra blades are best used for training and exercise purposes. And for that reason, it's much better to have a break than to not. The end.